You're listening to New Regal Radio. 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 Do you want to get right? Time for DJ Adam. New Regal Radio. I'm DJ Adam with special guest. Ignite the fire. Yeah, yeah. Ignite the fire. Ignite the fire. Yes, the And we're having some yes, fun that's here. Yes, the fire. Don't smug in yours. Okay. If, if you if you haven't noticed, we're having some fun here in the lair. I, 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 Someone say too much fun. I, 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 I made the mistake of asking a Star Wars question and told I wasn't allowed to, to ask Star Wars questions. Because be Mark lost. will Mark yeah. yeah Mark will rip us apart the whole ride home. It's like why do you guys talk about Star? Wars? This is a this is like a spot on. Mark I was having this conversation. Why are you guys talking about Star Wars? I mean, I was having this conversation like Marge. right now. It's a spoiler. Yeah, so. no, Marge no. Quinn. I will tell you that a, a movie occurs. Am I That's already too much of a spoiler. Star Wars. Okay, listen, listen, listen. If you need to know anything, is it in space? Lord Snoke. Yes. Is Lord Snoke. Oh snap! Oh, hold on. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> the Star turns Wars: out, The Last Jedi. Turns out Kylo is Ren actually is Hayden Christensen. Is Hayden Christensen? <laughs> he's just been in hiding. <laughs> This is what he's turned into. It's all that sand. He just hated it's it so the much. It's sand. It's coarse. It's irritating. It gets everywhere. It is coarse and irritating. I do. Sand I have to. Squishy. I have to agree with him. Ugh. I don't like sand. I do not I'm like sand. Either. You know, everyone hates that line. I think it's, sand it's is very, fun. very important line in the movie. It is. is it is the most single like underappreciated that. line. It, it sets up the whole medical. It, it sets up everything. They could have rolled credits right after he said that. Heck with. I have a bad feeling about this. The line from Star. Wars now is. I don't like. Sand. I don't like. Sand. I don't like sand. sand. Yeah. All right. So there you go. <laughs> if you have any more questions, you can just pop them in the chat room, and, and we'll not answer them. <laughs> but I, feel free to ask as many Star Wars questions as you want. I do have a, a, a kind of a fun question for you. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. And I'll give my answer first, just to give you guys some time to to think about it. So off the top of your head. Who is the one movie or TV character you like the most? Oh, or, oh, not you like the most, who you are most like? So think about that for a moment, because I'm going to give mine, which is Chewbacca. Okay. Respect. We're, bo- oh, we're, respect. Both, we're both tall and hairy. <laughs> and we, we like to growl at times, uh-huh. you know. Of course. Of course. So, let's take it around. I, uh, it may not be in order, but I, I have this because I've been told, well, I, I, I see it, but I've been told that I remind people of Jonah Hill from anything. Just any given thing Jonah Hill has been into. Specifically, this is the end Jonah Hill, where he's like, you know, kind of like an awful person. Now, I'm not saying I'm an awful person, but I just <laughs> strongly relate with the sarcasm with which he just lived that character. So, yeah, I am basically just... You know, Jonah Hill reincarnated, even though he's alive. The, the sarcasm is strong with this one. Yes. yes. All right, who's next? Oh, jeez. Uh, I'm still thinking. I would say John Wick, because I would be capable of taking down a whole mafia if they killed my dog. Debatable. No, you know what? I, I could see him doing it. Yeah. I could see you well, doing here's it. Well, I could, I could see that, but... With like, his guitar strings. He would, yeah. he, he would <laughs> need to anything. enlist Holly's help, because she knows Krav Maga, so... That's true. Oh, a buddy team-up cop movie, like, you know, deal. We would just yeah. argue the entire time. That's true. Like a classic buddy. Dang it. Like, it just does not make sense. Two, like, you just two days from the back time. Seat, not the one doing, like, all of, like, the, like, the <laughs> dirty deeds for you. Exactly. Just, like, Holly, get in the back. I'm like... Can I, can I have the Same story. Like, no. Morty's killing Morty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyone, you guys? I think I, think I got one. I don't yet. Um, I, I, I think probably from I, 
So growing up, I was a huge Lord of the Rings fan, and I always kind of identified with Gandalf. I thought oh, you were going to say Gimli. Gimli. <laughs> you were Gimli. I so was going to say Stand on my ox. No, um, Stupid fat of riches. Um, no, I am Smeagol. No, you know what? I've I've always I've always liked Gandalf. He was always a strong leader, and I always looked up to Gandalf and thought. And also because I'm red haired, um, my hair is just gonna—it's not gonna go gray. It's just gonna go straight to white. So I am Gandalf the White. Mm. And he's the leader. Would have been he did, he, he insinuated that, but he didn't want to say it. But yeah. by <laughs> the way, as somebody who's getting gray, they're, they're not gray. They're wisdom highlights. Oh, oh I like that. Nice. I like that. Dad, you have wisdom highlights. <laughs> yeah, that's actually <laughs> really good. I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure my father's listening. And he, you know, a couple years ago, he had this nice salt and pepper thing going on. And he, I'm sorry, man, if you're listening, he has gone just. It's, it's so it's, wise. It's, it's, no, it's more, yeah, it's very wise, but it's less salt and pepper and more salt. salt. <laughs> And like a grain or two of Some pepper. Flour in there. <laughs> well, he's starting to get a little flour in there too, I think. I love you, bud. Sorry. Oh boy, I'm the only one who hasn't gone yet. Um, I haven't gone. Well, oh, you're, really? You're, 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 you're in the buddy movie, so you know. Yeah, yeah that's right. No. Oh, okay. No, I thought you I'm, went. No, I'm, I'm sorry. still thinking. Oh, okay. Honestly, so if you uh, have one, go. All right. Back. Well, I mean, I'm kind of loath to admit it, but the more I think about it, it's very true. Um, I, I kind of relate very much to Tommy Wiseau. Woo! I knew it! Because, Hi, everybody! And that, that might be because I've seen the movie recently, but I've done research, and apparently he and I are both of Polish descent. Um, we are both very odd people. We both have very long hair, and we both have very interesting visions on how we see the world, but we should never implement them or go public with them because people will see us for the weirdos we are. So if I <laughs> no were to get long hair, really I would be just, just like, like you guys. <laughs> what? If I were to get long hair, I'd be just like you guys. Basically. I'm also Polish. Also, yeah. I am <laughs> yeah. a dumb Polak. If you've ever met a dumb Polak, you just imagine that person, and it's me. Is that racist? Also, I do a very I good Tommy Polak. Wiseau impression, apparently. It. Which I will perform live on radio right now. By the oh, hi, Larch's Lair. My name is Tommy Wiseau, and welcome to the Tommy Wise Show. Are you ready for to have your dream come true? Then listen to us amazing band, Ignite the Fire. Oh, hi, Stella! <laughs> Tear me apart, Lisa! <laughs> okay, enough of the room. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, I think, um, I think we it's beat that dead horse. Yeah, no, I think I think um, I got it. I think the person I most like is Leslie Nope from from Parks and Rec, just um, because one, I love that show. I've rewatched it so many times. I could act out probably any episode at this point. She, but she really could. I really could. But um, no, uh, that show is fantastic, and the character of Leslie Nope that Amy Poehler plays is just fantastic, and I really I identify with her. So. I can see that. Mm-hmm. I like to change mine to JD from Scrubs, <laughs> just because there's a constant weird monologue going on in my head that I, I resonate strongly with me with him. You know what I'm saying? So. Well, see, for me, it was a, it was a toss up between Chewbacca and Shrek. Because mm-hmm. you, <laughs> you like layers? Yes. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Tommy with the win. No. If I can also change mine, it's also okay. uh, it was a toss up between either Tommy Wiseau or Mr. Peanut Butter from BoJack Horseman. Um, oh yeah. But because uh, he's very happy and very, um, um, what's that word I'm looking for? Naive, very naive to the rest of the world and its troubles, and I'm kind of like that too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so Tommy and Bo- Tommy and uh, Mr. Peanut Butter. I am not going to change my answer. You're not going to change your. No. Hey, you know what? I'm sticking to it. John Wick. It's pretty badass right there. Yeah. So, exactly. Uh, it doesn't really. F- I'm going to make a note here. <laughs> Do not anger Mark. Do true. not mess with his talk. Because one night I'll be down here in the lair, and then no one will ever see me again. Mm. It'll just happen just like that. Mm-hmm. Yes. The boot- mm-hmm. it was a it'll be like, it'll be like the SCP Foundation. He'll come and like crack your neck when you're not looking. Oh, wow. So, that's, a, that's a dark turn. <laughs> well, yeah. That's that a, took a right. turn. And is Lurch's that, lair like was canceled. <laughs> We're reaching the somber hour. Right oh wow! Now. Is that the CIA? Oh my! No, that's that's what is. What, what, what a very odd individual. SEC? Something's gonna come barging at the door and stop it. They're like, this cannot go on. These these, mm-hmm. these buffoons. They're, boy, they're, these boy I hope not. We won't. You know, we won't answer the door. <laughs> I think that's, that's always the smartest thing to do. Yeah. Honestly. Federal agent, no, sorry, we're in the middle of something. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, this is a little bit bigger than your warrant. 
<laughs> I don't care if it was signed by a judge. Listen, I'm I'm, I'm live right now, boss. Get out of here. <laughs> we'll take the. Do you want to tell my listening audience? Do you want to tell my listening audience? Do you want to deal with the backlash of canceling this? No, no, you don't. You so can't handle the truth, <laughs> sir. Sir, we have. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll be- and for yeah. our next song. <laughs> It'll be Folsom County Blues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to ask you guys, what do you what do you have guys coming up in 2018 for us? I know you talked about an EP. Right. We're in, mm-hmm. currently in the process of recording and writing uh, our next EP. We're definitely hoping for some like early summer or so for a release. Uh, probably be another five six song EP, just like Trial and Triumph, uh, and. Writing and recording process is going great so far. Um, we'll actually be playing something that we're currently working on right now, acoustically, for all the listeners in the lair. Um, and then we are working on expanding our touring and how many shows we do for next year. So we're hoping to just constantly build on what we're doing right now. Hoping we can be good. <laughs> we do goodly. We, do we goodly. hope that to, for once we do goodly. <coughs> we will be sure to act um, very well good. I, I think uh, what's been interesting about this writing process, probably from the last one, is um, I think it's just it's been like a, a well of ideas, honestly. It's like a spring, yeah. not a well. And I you feel, just throw the ideas in the well. You know cool. <laughs> At least for me, I didn't write the first EP with you guys because you know, I wasn't in the band yet. But this is the first for me, the first time writing having a real bass player. We can do bass lines and things that mm-hmm. bass players do that me and Mark could not do. So I think that's been the coolest part is actually having that extra dimension that a real bass player brings. We're really kind of stepping outside the, the box this time, too. I mean, uh, with Trial and Triumph, we incorporated strings. You know, obviously we have the heavy guitars, you know, the, the loud drums and the soaring vocals. But it's all polka this next uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> all the oh, weird and tambourines. You, you're going Weird Al Yankovic on us. Yeah. All accordions and tambourines. I think we're lo- looking, at it, it's, especially this time, uh, to challenge ourselves and push ourselves a little further. I mean, we, we've talked about doing a little bit of electronics, trying to see, you know, uh, bands like Star Set and uh, Red's latest album, uh, which is, is just fantastic. They use the same producer as Star Set, and they, it has that that very electronic kind of newer sound that's really kind of. Um, you know, it's it's kind of taking over the airwaves, but you, we don't want to fully embrace that to the point where we're sounding like everyone else, kind of doing it mm-hmm. our style. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I want to play a keytar. <laughs> <laughs> that is a want he's going to Alrighty. hold and cherish for a long time. Years and years. Years go by. Now, I want to ask you, because I know, you, Kaylin, you and I have <laughs> talked about kind of songwriting, and I, it's not something, I mean, I, I'm not very creative. I can get creative on a computer. Otherwise, I have no creativity in me whatsoever. So, I mean, how do you guys, wh- where does it come from? How do you guys create a song out of? A lot of yelling. Yeah. Well, honestly, it's <laughs> a lot of yelling, but <laughs> no, it, was... somebody will bring an idea to the table and it just ping-pongs around the, for the five of us, and it ends up as something that, <clears throat> you know, the person who originally brought it to the table didn't exactly expect it to be, but when you get the input of five other four other people you know that you enjoy making music with you know it yeah. kind of comes together so it's a lot of it's a lot of ping pong and ideas off of each other mm-hmm. it becomes uh it doesn't become your song anymore it becomes ignite the fire song mm-hmm. which is it, it's really important you know we're all you know i i don't like to toot our own horn but we are pretty good musicians and we do kind of you know, we bounce ideas yeah. around, and anything that somebody, um, <laughs> anything that somebody yourself. just, yeah, I don't know, man. Pretty yeah. hard, hard, I hard, 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 strong words. I don't know. I, uh, I feel, no, 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 I feel like we're pretty good. Um, and, and I think what, what's it makes us a little different from what other bands do is you typically you hear the label bands they'll you know re, they'll write twenty, thirty songs you know before they go in to record the CD and then they cut it down to like that final ten. Uh, we take a different approach when we get, when we you know look at writing. Again, it, it starts with an idea and then we expand upon it. And instead of just hashing out like you know a verse and a chorus, let's move on to the next song. We work with it, and if we feel that it's just not going in the direction that we like, instead of holding on to it, we'll just immediately scrap it. And there have been plenty of times where we'll just be in our practice space, and we'll be like, scrap, 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 you know, what else we got? And then, you know, then all of a sudden it's that spark, and immediately, you know, 
either Mark or Mike's laying down a guitar, or or Jack comes to the table, you know, or even Holly or me, and we we just you know come up with it. Always in, in a lot of ways starts out with a guitar riff. Kalen is annoyingly good at writing really good guitar riffs for a drummer, and it's annoying. <laughs> no, um, but <laughs> I, it's not annoying. I like it, but it's so annoying when he, you come downstairs and it's like, oh, who wrote this this riff? It's so it's, it's, it's gnarly. Well, it was Kalen. Uh, the, the best aspect, <laughs> the, but the best aspect of you know everyone bringing an idea forward is that we can immediately take it and start dissecting it, and, and then eventually it just becomes everyone's project to the point where it's like input upon input, and you know, and that's how we we get our music and the, the writing process. You know, it's it's always a struggle, but you know, and especially going in when we first went into trial and trial, it was it was a struggle, and but we we were able to land on you know five solid songs we believe are solid songs and i think this is definitely going to be um going into this ep yeah anything for any musicians out there if the writing process is not a struggle you're doing something wrong (laughs) just saying that's true that's true if it comes too easy to you as well it's Mm -hmm. like you know but all right so you got another song for us yeah let's uh let's play something new that's gonna be on um, yeah this upcoming ep um while he's doing, um, I guess I can, I'll introduce the song real quick. So this is a brand new new song, uh, just debuting, and we're you know just debuting it. Uh, this song is called Echoes, and um, we went into this song with the idea of you know kind of along the same lines of like a song like Breathe, in the sense that it's a slower type of song. Uh, but this one it started with uh, Mike coming up with the guitar riff. And we just took it from there and evolved it, and um, you know, I, I, put, I put the lyrics down to it, and I, you know, I really wanted this song that was kind of like a, a, almost a struggle, you know, between yourself and a, a perceived another person, or or even yourself, where it's it's a, it's a struggle, and you're trying to find your way through it. And um, of course, Jack takes takes every melody, takes every lyric that I write, and just takes it top top notch to the next level. And his voice really shines through on this one, especially because of how stripped down it is. So, so yeah, this this is uh, this is echoes. Thank you. So, Mike, whenever we get my shaker. All right, echoes.
Yeah, seriously. <laughs> be safe, people. Yeah. Be safe. Yes, especially in this, in you know, the winter time here. You know. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. That was awesome. Thank you. Thank I really you. like Thank that you. one. Thank you. <laughs> so, got. Well, I know. You know, we're not out of 2017 yet, and I know you got some more shows coming up. Why don't you let people know where they can come uh, hear you? Uh, next week we got two shows uh, with the band Palisades. Uh, the first one is Tuesday, December 19th down at the Canal Club in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, and then the second show is Thursday, December 21st at Metro Gallery in Baltimore. Uh, tickets are available on our website. Ignite the Fire Music. Uh, IgniteTheFireMusic.com. And our merch store is um, IgniteTheFire.BigCartel.com. So either link will get you to where you need to go. Also, our Facebook page as well, facebook.com slash Ignite the Fire Music. Uh, we've been posting it all up and down there. So um, anywhere across our social media. So, Or you can come over to Lurch's Lair, and I will also have links over to uh, the band page as well. So oh, awesome. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Speaking of Palisades, Speaking we're, of- we're going to go uh, – back to your playlist here and that's what we got up next here All right. mm-hmm. uh, the song Let Down so anything special for any of you with that song? Yeah I wanted to uh, pick Palisades to showcase some of the bands that we're playing with and doing shows with um, th- this song Let Down uh, came out earlier this year um, and it came out at a time where it like really meant a lot to a lot of people in the band ourselves because the subject matter of the song was something we were all dealing with at that time. So this is one of those songs that came out at a time that really motivated you and really inspired you at the time. So I just wanted to play that on the lair. Alrighty. Well, here it is. This is Palisades with Let You Down. You're in Lurch's Lair here on New Regale Radio. <laughs> <laughs> 